Have you ever had a Boolean just vanish your model in Blender? One second, everything looks fine. The next, and half of it's just gone. If you're using my Creature Kitbash add-on or just working with Booleans in general, these issues will eventually occur. Thankfully, with a bit of foresight, they're easy to fix. So let me show you the most common ways Booleans fail and how to avoid them before they happen. The most important thing for good topology is making sure you have relatively even spacing in your polygons. The best way to do this is with quads, but you can also get away with decimated meshes. Avoid long stretched polygons, especially on curved surfaces. They confuse Blender and they're vastly more likely to break your Booleans. Say you've got two spheres which overlap. If you Boolean them while they're still separate objects, no problem. Blender will cut out the intersecting geometry, leaving you with topology ready for sculpting. But if I join them into a single object first, and then try a union, it doesn't actually merge anything and you'll just get overlapping internal geometry. This can cause huge problems while sculpting. Always use the Boolean union while objects are separated to avoid this intersecting geometry. Or if you have to join them, then go into sculpt mode and use the remesh tool. Remesh can help clean up the intersecting that Booleans can't handle. Pro tip, if you're using the new real-time remeshing feature in Creature Kitbash, this completely avoids these intersecting issues. Let's say you've created a creature with a mirrored tail. Now, if the tail doesn't cross the center line, as you can see here, then a Boolean union will work just fine. Everything is working, and if we go inside the mesh, you can see that we can see all the way down to the tip of the tail. There's no issues with the geometry, there's no intersecting geometry. However, if the tails were to overlap even slightly, and then we go ahead and do a union, we're going to most likely end up with intersecting geometry, or worse, the entire mesh might disappear. You can see here we now have intersecting geometry and we can no longer see down to the tail. The reason for this is because the way the add-on works is that it applies the mirror first, which then means that we have intersecting geometry in here. This intersecting geometry then breaks the boolean and we end up with problems with the tail. So before we merge any mirrored assets, make sure that they don't cross the center line and everything should work just fine. You want to be careful of having objects inside other objects. For example, this female mesh head here comes with eyes, teeth, and a tongue model. By default, all of these assets are in the don't merge collection and won't be merged when you hit union, join, or real-time remesh. However, it is possible to move all of these assets into the parts collection, or perhaps you're creating some of your own assets and you've accidentally put these kind of objects in the wrong collection yourself. If I try and use the Boolean operation now, you can see that the result is quite broken. It's punched a hole through the eyes here. And I think if we go and just smooth the mouth out here, you can see there's some really strange stuff happening with the teeth. Now, these kind of problems are almost impossible to fix later on, so double check that you have the right assets in the right collection before you do your merges. Booleans need volume. A flat plane has no thickness, so Blender won't know what to do with it. If you try and Boolean a flat plane against a sphere, Blender can't interpret the geometry properly, and it just slices that sphere in half. Always make sure that your objects have a certain amount of thickness to them, even just a slight extrusion. Flat geometry breaks booleans and causes weird results. If you remesh a flat plane against another object, the results are really inconsistent. Sometimes it will work okay, but often you'll get overlapping geometry or some strange artifacts. Extrude the mesh first, even if it's just slightly, and the remesh will work much better. A watertight mesh has no holes. Think of it like this. If you filled the mesh with water, would it leak? For example, I've got a female head here with a hole in the neck. Now, if I try to remesh this, Blender produces an absolutely horrible result. To fix this, you need to close the hole, either with the fill command, or preferably using the grid fill. Grid fill is a little bit better as it usually tries to maintain quad topology. Now that we've filled that hole again, if we try and remesh, you should get much better results. Watch out for hidden holes, like holes behind the eyes or the mouth, as those can also cause you some issues. Sometimes Blender will handle it okay, but don't count on it. The best practice is make sure that your mesh is always watertight. The trim brushes are great for creature design. I'll often use the trim brushes to lop off limbs when creating creatures. 
However, like booleans, they can leave behind a mess of geometry, and this can sometimes cause issues. If you do trim away limbs, I recommend doing a quick patch job with Dyntopo to clean up this geometry. Although Dyntopo creates triangles rather than quads, the evenly spaced topology is much easier for Blender to calculate, and it will usually fix most problems. Final tip, always inspect your mesh before you start sculpting. Take this chicken thug monster created by a creature kitbash user. It was his first time using the add-on and he made some of these mistakes. From the outside, this model looks great, but if I turn on wireframe, you can see there's something really strange going on with the geometry around the shoulders. If we jump inside the model, you can see that the arm should be hollow, but there's these extra faces blocking off the armhole. And if we spin this around, you can see the same thing has happened to the legs. Worst of all, these issues can easily go unnoticed and will likely break your rigging or your 3D printing. The best thing you can do is to avoid these problems altogether and always check your mesh straight after joining all of your assets. That said, if you find yourself in this position, sometimes using the remesh tool can save the day. Just be aware that you may lose some detail using remesh and it's not a guarantee that it will always work. This is a great backup to have, but it's best to avoid the problem altogether. These issues are super common and super fixable. Most Boolean failures come down to just a few habits. Keep your topology clean, your mesh is watertight and thick, and your geometry organized in the provided collections. 